Right? G'day team. Just checking how we look. I think we're good. Maybe a slight adjustment there. Michael, man, how are we? Right. Let's uh let's get ready to rock and roll. Right, better have, have finish my coffee. Mm. Lovely, lovely. Right, welcome team. Welcome. Um, as you can see on the board behind me, we're going to mix it up a little bit today. Uh, we're going to do five eight-minute pieces, okay? So keeping uh, each set I don't know, reasonably short, shortish, um, good overall time. Uh, but we're just going to keep focusing on that technique stuff, uh, keep working on the rhythm, uh, and so we've just got we've got set time where we can just focus. Okay, and then we have a little bit of a break. I've given ourselves 40 seconds. Um, as I can see, Robro's already given me, given me uh, a bit of stick for that. But I don't think we're going to need a lot, especially in the first sort of two or three, okay? Really, that break period is just a reset, okay? And, and I think if we look at it, it's just like a, okay, moment, let's go again, we're out of here, okay? Um, it's It's a better way of approaching pieces and even training to be fair because what we can do is is the longer we make our rows um the easier it is to just fall back into bad habits okay and 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 as you've probably heard me talking a lot you know we can learn new things quite easily breaking our old habits that we're trying to 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 refine okay and so that 40 seconds will be enough just to have a refresh breathe here we go Okay, so if you have a look at it, the first one, we're just going to warm up eight minutes at 20. Okay, uh, second one, we'll just go 20 and 22. So as again, we're just working on that technique. Then the third one, what we'll do is we're just going to do a pyramid. Okay, and we're going to go up one, we're going to go up one stroke per minute every minute. Okay, 20, 22, uh, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 23, 22, 21. Okay. Um, and then the next one, we just go up and we'll go back down, okay? So I just thought we'd do some some sort of rate change stuff where we get the feel of the machine, okay? And then when we come back down, we're just going to let that flywheel keep rolling, okay? So we're not going to, we're not just going to like let off all the pressure. We'll just let it come down over time, might be 30 seconds, whatever, okay? And we'll just keep that flywheel spinning. Uh, and then the last one, we'll just... We'll just raise it up a little bit, okay? I, 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 I thought about going right up, but no, we'll keep it keep it low. Uh, so we'll just do four minutes at 22, and then we'll just go up for the next four minutes, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we'll just let the freedom of our stroke carry a little bit of extra speed, okay? So we're not super going through the roof um, with our speed. We're not doing, you know, it could have been 22, 24, 26, 28, but we're not. Okay, we'll just keep it nice nice and free. Okay. Um, my audio is breaking up. Audio? No? Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully it's all right. Should be. Everything's charged. Mind you, we've had some times. We had a time there for a while where things are terrible. It's crazy. Okay. Um, that's about it for here. Let's just jump on. Remember what we're trying to focus on. Um with, with your technique and the form, okay? And we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it in, in the warm-up as well. We'll, make, yeah, well. Let's jump on. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it while we're warming up. Uh, but we're trying to really work on on this ability to come into the front and the change in direction and then the increase in power from, from, from the take-up, from the take-up through the stroke, okay? I still think it's a very, very common misconception that people think, They've got to have all the power here, okay? But when you're looking at the force curve, when you see the machine, it's a build through the stroke, okay? So it's we're picking it up, and then we're getting that speed once the legs and the body are starting to drive through that middle, okay? So we'll keep focusing on that today. God, the hair looks amazing, Eric. You need to get a haircut, pal. Okay, so just as normal, just take your time. Whatever way you like to warm up, three or four minutes here, just building the pace. You'll have to just uh, 
don't mind the croaky voice. I might cough and splutter a little bit. We've got a lot of pollen and stuff coming out around the place at the moment, so the hay fever is going a bit wild. So even in this warm-up, really, just starting to feel the process, getting a feel of that pressure through the drive, okay? That smoothness that we can get around the catch. <clears throat> even now, if you'd like, just press the second button down on the right and you can see that force curve, okay? So you can see how it has to climb and then you can see where the top point is of that force curve, okay? Hence why we're not trying to be full muscle from the front, we're trying to pick the speed and then get it through the stroke. <coughs> through the stroke with that drive. Okay. And really just leaving the arms out long even now in this warm up. Hands just controlling that handle, getting a feel, and being the connection between us and the machine. Remember, it's a press. It's more of a squeeze than it is a muscle or a real hit with the feet from the catch. Feel that push. Okay, nice, nice rhythm. Okay, open it out. Just start to squeeze on a little bit now. Take good motion. I'm starting to just push it just with a couple more. Got another five or six strokes. Okay, nice. Good. Okay, that's about all we need. Just gonna check the old connection. I don't know if it was me that's breaking up. No, we look good. Good, good. No, sweet. Okay. Just where my phone goes, I'm like, please, please don't be breaking us down. Okay. So, let's get set up, ready to go. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, better bring that back up to five. Select workout, we're going back onto the intervals as normal. New workout, intervals, intervals time. Okay, eight minutes on the clock, please. And 40 seconds on the rest time. Okay, I know you'll be like, oh, I'd love a minute. I think we all would. But it's just enough, just enough to just regather our thoughts mental focus, what can we do better in this one, hit it again. Okay, so let's press our checkbox. We've got a few seconds to get a drink in. And here we go. Okay, so this is just gonna be fully focused on talking about our technique and our rhythm and our flow, okay? Really continuous, really focus on just continuous motion air through this whole piece 
to start off, okay? And this will really start getting us really warm, ready for the next one, okay? So, setting. Are you ready? Row. So start off, nice long arms. Flow with that rhythm. Feel that handle. Feel that chain. Okay, feel with ourselves with the machine to start off. Don't worry too much about speed and pressure. We build into that. Over the first minute or so. But we want to set the platform for where we can move on to from there. Okay, so here we are with nice, smooth, continuous motion. Feel the chain and the bungee in the hands as we come forward, helping draw that set up. Good. Smooth hands around the finish. Try and keep the elbows as flat as we can. Remembering we don't have to ram it into the body. We let the body wait as we swing and the hands come to us as our draw. <coughs> nice. Okay, so feel the pressure now as we start to squeeze it a little bit to find our pace. As we come into that front, feel that weight coming onto the feet, that compression. And then we press away, okay? Press, no hit. Remember, squeeze those lemons. Working that drive. And then being really smooth and as relaxed as we can on this recovery. Just let it happen. <coughs> because at the end of the day, <coughs> We could just get back to the front if, however we wanted because the machine's trying to draw us there. We do need to get into the position, which then makes it easier for the drive, but we've got to make sure we try as much as possible to think this is happening because the machine's pulling us forward. No effort here, just setting up, ride it, be loose. You know, you'll always hear me say, work and rest. This is our rest. This is our ratio time there. <clears throat> and then we're getting ready in position. And then we can push that drive. Nice. Feel the hang. Under those armpits, down in the lats. Good. Really nice, through halfway. Okay, keep this smooth, keep the rhythm consistent. Breathe into it. Really feel the movements that you're creating and the rhythm that you're creating. Make it as efficient as you can.
breathe as naturally as you can. Okay, find out where that is, how that is. There's no specifics, like you should do this, you should do that. Just trying to find your own comfortable spot in terms of this oxygen intake. Okay, so focus it for a bit. Breathe, listen to it. Okay, feel that push, both feet, feel the compress. And you set into that position there. Okay, and smooth, changing direction. Nice. Into the front. Try not to make it feel heavy. There. Out of the catch, okay? Roll in and away. Engage. <coughs> and press. There, nice. Smooth around that front. Smooth change in direction. Nice. Okay, this is good. Stay patient. Make sure we don't have too much tension. Upper body, chest. We've got stability, but don't make it feel like it's super tense and tight, okay? Roll forward and away. Feel those feet, feel them in the recovery Toes, a little bit of pressure. Feel the feet floating in the shoe. And then that compress against the footboard, the balls of the feet, right there before the cat, right there. <clears throat> nice. Really good, okay? All the way. Last one. <coughs> nice, okay? Easy peasy. Tell you what, she's pretty warm here. Okay, so, mental refocus. <coughs> good start. Body's getting warm, heart rate's getting up. This one, we just go straight back into that rhythm again. Get that flow, and then when we hit that halfway mark, just going to free it up. Okay, free it up. That's the that's the word. We're not going to try and make more speed. We're going to free up the speed. Ready? Now. <clears throat> Remember, just build into it again. Don't have to hit the speed after the first five or six strokes. Take a bit of time. Let that flywheel get back up to speed. Okay, consistent. Continuous motion. Really nice. Good. Patience. Really good.
and we're just flowing along here. Rolling in. Hold the bodies nice and still. Okay, remember, we can be stepping into that front. Okay, we don't need to be here and ready and, and rigid. We want to have suppleness into position. But we also just want to have that ability to be a, a more of a natural set up into the catch. Okay, rather than super rigid. Because the machine's still drawing us forward, the hands, the arms, the shoulders there. We don't want to be dipping into the catch, doing things like that. <coughs> but just make it nice and smooth and relaxed with the machine. Remember, don't hold it back around the finish. Feel that chain. The resistance of it. Handle speed in, handle speed out. Okay, one motion. And then back onto that roll forward. <coughs> We've got to control ourselves. Just ride with it. Okay, that connection between the handle and the seat as we ride the recovery. And we're ready there to pick up that speed of the flywheel and move it on. Good. This is nice. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice. Okay, with patience. <clears throat> so we really feel this hang here. We've got a really good consistent motion happening right now. So when we go to increase the rating, ask yourself, what am I doing? All we're doing, we're speeding up all these parts of that stroke. Okay, don't think about power, <clears throat> freedom of movement. Here we go. Now, move the hands. Ride the speed forward a little bit quicker. There it is. Leg drives quicker. Okay, so our speed's just come down. The rating's just gone up. We haven't thought about muscling it. We just thought about moving with the machine. Okay, yes, we are working harder. Okay, but that's not our focus. Our focus is this new rhythm speed that we've got here now. Okay, good. Really feel that hang, long arms. Good motion. Ride the speed. Hold the core. And the rhythm. And remember to breathe. Stay relaxed in the face. Stay relaxed upstairs. Rhythm. Push. One smooth drive. Really nice. Okay, good. Continuous motion. Really good. Okay, so final two minutes. 
keep that really good eye on on ourselves. Are we in a nice space, continuous motion, trying to stay relaxed? Trying to pick up the speed of this flywheel. Feeling that compress into the front. Push the body away. Legs are driving that body. Trying to find that changeover. Legs initiate, body comes with the legs. When they work together, we find maximum force. Disjointed, or the body goes early, you're never going to find it, okay? Push and swing together. Remember, the biggest thing about thinking about that is just leave the arms out long. Okay, the moment we do anything like this, <coughs> think about really powerful. Okay, it normally goes pear shaped. If we leave that there, arms long, we know that we're going to be hanging. Hang, armpits, down through the lats. Good. Last couple, easy, just like that, okay, really good, excuse me, it's pulling out of my face, okay, so, good, starting to get pretty warm, okay, hopefully you guys are, quick drink, And let's focus this next one, okay? One minute changes all the way. Up and then back down. Pyramid. Here we go. Now. So there's our hang now. So even though it's only one point in rating. Don't worry too much if it's fluctuating up and down, okay? The whole reason for this pyramid is just to learn and understand how to just move a little bit quicker with the machine to easily help find those ratings, okay? So to the next 17 seconds or whatever here, it's really... Nail in this rhythm here at 20. Okay, good motion, good hang. Right, going up one. Now, so just make the movement just a little bit quicker. Okay, that's all we needed to do. Speed will probably come with it. Think about the points where we can make it easier. Hands around the turn. Brush the body. Don't get stuck. Ride that speed forward. Good. Okay, it's good. It's nicely and patient. Set up into the front. And press. And changing again. Now. Good. Let's sit on that 22. Move with it. Nice, okay, keep flat draw. Nice, 
fast movement speed. Feel that press. Both feet together. Feel the symmetry. Symmetry down the body line. Okay, this one's good. Up one, now 23. Okay, and we're just moving just that little bit quicker. And you'll probably notice now, it speeds a lot quicker than it was two minutes ago. Remember, once we get the speed going, we're trying to protect it, okay? Protect the flywheel speed. Trying to pick it up without losing too many revolutions. Keep it flowing. So, up one more. This one. Now, breathe, remember just move freely, don't think about adding a lot of power, breathe, focus this breathing again, ride the speed coming forward. Good. Hold this. Tap it along. Tap it along. Put that flywheel into the front. Smooth take up. Okay, so as we go down, a little bit of patience coming forward. Now, just here, just patience. Still holding that flywheel speed. There's just an ounce more control on our recovery by us. Okay. Flywheel will naturally slow down a little bit. Okay. We just don't want to force it down. We want to let it come down over time. Okay, good. So just hold this. This is our rhythm. Okay, ready to go down one more. Now, patience here. See if we can make it minimal, slow, okay? Let it slow down naturally. Good. Breathe. Go back to feeling this push and swing. Long arms with me. Hang them out long. Good. Okay. So last change down. Patience. This one. Now. Feel it in the hands on the recovery. So we've got the drive speed, patient forward. Hang with me. Press, 
Swing through the middle. Good. Okay, sit tall. Relax the face. Open the earways. Nice. Last 10 seconds. Five seconds. Easy. Okay, good. Excuse me. Okay, good. Could see it, okay? Notice that <coughs> what I was trying to talk about is that we still got that drive and there's just patience through here. That's how we naturally let the flywheel come down. Instead of dropping 100 revolutions in one stroke, we drop eight revolutions or 10 revolutions per stroke, okay, over that time. Right, back into it. Now, two minutes at 20, 22, 24, then we'll go back down to that 22. Okay. This is where Robro is cursing me. They don't need more time. Okay, but use this first part here to be relaxed. Find our rhythm. Breathe. Be smooth. Find that application again. So roll around the front to the both feet. Feel the drive. Good. Nice. Okay, good. Really nice and smooth. Okay, nice and continuous. Here's our rhythm. And we're gonna build on what we've got here. Okay. Whatever we're doing now, we're gonna try and stay smooth. We're gonna try and continue this flow by focusing on the efficiency points, the pickup, the hang, and the press. We're just gonna get more speed in the flywheel. And we're gonna maintain it, okay, up two. Now, move with the speed. There we are, okay. Keep it coming. Okay, and there we are. Okay, now we can hold this rhythm. The flywheel's moving quicker, which means we need to pick it up a little bit more efficiently. Hang off it. The leg drives slightly faster. Good. <clears throat> really good. Good rhythm. Hold this flow. Don't get tight around the finish. Release the shoulders. Release the chest. Shoulder blades almost feel like they're coming together, touching around the finish. As because we're driving backwards, elbows past, try and avoid too much wing out or like too much pull high. 
Look at flat, okay? Up two. Let's move it. This one. Now, <clears throat> we're starting to get a bit more speed here. Make sure we're not overworking it. Okay, focus on the flywheel. Move the hands around the finish. Ride the speed of the seat and hands coming forward. Leg drive, feel the speed, creating the momentum. Doesn't need to be super powerful. We need to drive the body, legs and body. Good. Okay, breathe with me. Hold. Pick up the speed. Feel the ratio. Good. Nice long arms. Let's go. Push away from them. Let them come to us at the finish. Yeah, nice. Keep this metronomic, continuous motion. Okay, so we go down two. So hold the patience, hold the flywheel speed. Now, let it come down over time. Okay, good. Long arms. Hang in those lats. Really good. Good rhythm. Good motion. Okay, coming down to this last minute, let's open the face, shake it out, don't clench the teeth, open it up, suck in the oxygen, and just roll with it, here we go, okay, long arm, big muscle groups, Don't let the little muscle groups start getting tense. Shoulders, arms, hands, neck. They get tight, we feel tense, okay? We hang in these big groups. We hold speed. We hold rhythm. Okay, good. Last one. <coughs> Great. Okay. Really nice. So, really breathe it in there. We've only got one seat to go. Sweat puddles starting to get bigger. <coughs> and this last one, just manage it yourself. Okay. We're basically going to do a slow build to the line. So we're going to get back onto that 22 for four minutes. And then just every minute, just keep increasing to the line. Okay, here we go. 
take our time here as well. Don't think that you have to be back on speed in the first 20, 30 seconds. Okay? We start building here. Move first. Power second, okay? So move the hands. Get ourselves back onto rating. Here. We're at 22 now. Then we focus on the power output to create the speed. Okay, good. Start off here well, breathe, relax with this hang, symmetrical push, good. Feel the rhythm. Okay, with me, when we finish the stroke, when the hands are changing direction, supple legs, supple knees, don't lock them out and be tight, they can be straight, but we can also switch off the muscles, remember our ratio, we want to work, rest, as much as we can. Good. Good patience. Think about our flywheel now. Okay? Not trying to punch it off the front. We roll around. We continue the speed that it's already traveling. Around the front. Smooth take up. Push and swing, squeeze the lemons. Nice. Long arms with me, hang under the armpits. Feel that hang, feel when the body comes in with the feet, legs are driving all the way through the drive, the body misses the first piece at the front, the last piece at the back, but it's there with the legs, good. Holding the speed of the machine right now. Tap it along. Take the flywheel. <coughs> okay. Let's make sure we stay relaxed. In this last four minutes. Up one. Now. Okay, do it efficiently. Breathe. There it is, tap it along. Nice. Feel the rhythm. Feel the ride. Ride that recovery forward with minimal tension. One smooth drive. Up one. This one. Now.
Good. Hold this extra speed. Breathe. Okay, flywheel's just moving quicker for us. Hold it. Sit on top of it. Nice. Okay, feel that hang with me. Long arms. Breathe. Keep everything moving. Don't get stuck anywhere. Freedom of movement. Right. Last two minutes. That's it. 25. Now. Freely move it up. Hand speed with me here around the finish. Speed in, speed out. Good. Nice. Okay, breathe. The fatigue started to build on us. All we're going to keep thinking about maintaining the flywheel spin. Hang up one. Now, last minute. 26. Feel that push. Open the body. Hang with me, long arms. Let's go, team. Good work. Leave them out long. Open the mouth. Stay relaxed. Try not to tense up. Hang, swing. Sit back. Feel the push, all the way. Yes, team, yes, team. Holy moly. Right, good work, guys. Okay, keep it moving. Just got to get rid of the sweat. Hot and humid today. <coughs> okay, so let's just paddle it out. We're going to warm down well. Okay, she got a bit spicy towards the end of that. Um, just press the menu button also. Save all of that into your workout, log books, etc. Okay, and we'll just paddle it along for another minute or so. And then we'll start just building a little bit of activeness back into our recovery, okay? Great session. Okay, yeah, you could be cursing me right now. Really did want a minute off. Okay, but unless we set up a variable interval, we only needed sort of 30 or 40 between the first two or three. Yes, we could have used a minute in that last one, not going to lie. But the whole idea is to use that small rest period, just as I said, as a refocus, a regather, to get ready for the next one. Okay, and the heart rate doesn't have to come down. Okay, it can stay up, and then we just get back into that rhythm. Sometimes too much rest is a detriment because then it takes too long to build it back up in the next piece, okay? So I think we I think we did pretty well. <coughs> okay, but let's, even though it feels uncomfortable now, just sit up a little bit better now, okay? Just put a little bit more power behind the handle, 
Okay, this is our active recovery. So without us just sitting here rolling back and forward, let's just think about putting power in. Okay, to give you an example, I'm about a minute split off what I was. Okay, so we start like this. Just to get the muscles activated again to ask for a bit of oxygen in the position that they need to be. Okay, and we'll just spend another minute or so, 90 seconds here, just slowly just pressing a little bit of power, okay? Just have a little bit of weight behind the handle, okay? And while we think about it, let's also just think about the roll on the slide. Feel the hands in the seat moving together, feel their relationship, and also just feel the relationship on the drive with the hang and the push, leaving the arms out long, okay, good, open that body out, really feel right now how you can press away and the handles can just really hang out long and then they come back with that body swing okay but we're just igniting the muscles you should start to feel quite a bit better already we're not looking for heart rate, we're not looking for power, we're just looking for movement back into what we were doing. Okay, another 30 seconds, we should be good. Patience. Feel it in the fingers now. Feel that chain pulling us back to the front. Just in the fingertips. Good. Press, swing, two more. That's us. Okay, look at that, you beauty. Squeeze out a bit of sweat. Okay, great job team. Really good job. Okay, it was a good, good one today. Throwing in some sort of change rate where we go up and down is quite healthy, okay? Um, it's, it's a really good way to keep working on on our rhythm and our relaxation. And, and to be fair, the, the main goal and purpose of what we're trying to do when we're on the machine, which is us versus flywheel, okay? That's, that's how it works. That's how this machine works. It's how, what speed can we make the flywheel go? okay, is what our maximum speed is. But then when we're just training along, <coughs> every, every revolution or two that we lose from the pickup, or we're not quite getting the speed, or we're not quite getting the opening of the body, whatever, is what our speed equates to on the screen. Okay, so when we go up in speed, it's quite easy, because all of a sudden we're just moving faster. Okay, we're doing more strokes per minute, which means obviously the flywheel revolutions have to go up. But then when we're coming down, what we're trying to do is not just let a whole bulk piece of the speed just die off straight away, which hopefully you, you, were, you were managing to get, right? It's like every, every stroke, you wipe off 10 revolutions, okay? So now it comes down 10, maybe another 10, maybe not so many a 10, maybe a bit more than 10, whatever. And then all of a sudden, after 30 seconds or 40 seconds, maybe it was a minute, you were back down to the speed that you were before, okay? And that's the great thing about sort of going up and down in ratings and using some pyramid-style stuff is because you really do get a good understanding about what you're doing to the machine and how you're affecting it and then also how you can maintain or just minimize the fade that you're getting from those revolutions, which means in minimizing the fade of your speed that you're going to see on the screen. Okay, and so that was really the goal today, was just helping work on that side of things. 
And we're just, as always, just really working on that smoothness around the front, the pickup, the ability for us to stay relaxed as we glide into that front, okay? The more we stay relaxed going this way, the more we can use our power and effort going this way. We use too much effort and tightness and tension coming forward into the catch. We're wasting all of that energy which could be used in that part there to drive, which is what makes that flywheel speed go. Okay, but it's pretty good. It's a good session. Very, very good session. Um, now I can see what you guys are going to say. You're going to say, yeah, yeah it's terrible. No. Uh, hi, Eric. Great session. Um, I like to do that session without uh, without rest. When doing a long pull, is it okay to mix up the stroke rate or stick to one consistent stroke rate? Uh, when doing a long pull, is it okay? Um, yeah, no. Uh, Jared, you, can, you could do that. You could do that whole thing there without rest. Absolutely. Um, if you want to do, honestly, if you want to do, uh, if you want to do long sessions and, and go up and down and rate, you could just do a continuous pyramid, which could just go 20, 22, 24, 22, 20. You could even go down to 18, 20, 22, 24, boom, 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 like this for like 40 minutes. Yeah, be fine. Um, absolutely. Okay. There's no, the only reason that we do a lot of, and I basically do interval stuff here is because. I truly believe that interval training is probably the best for betterment of you on the machine because you can have that break short as possible if you if we do, but you need to just because if you're if you're grinding away and you're not and you're trying to make a change, as I've said before, the biggest thing is 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 keeping that change, okay? Getting rid of the bad habits because if you slip back into those bad habits all of a sudden you think you started off really well and you're at 40 minutes because you've done a consistent thing and you're doing the same shit you've always done, which you're like, damn it, I, I felt like I was doing it really good at the start, but you're not so much at the end. So it's about learning and doing better things like that. But obviously the longer that you can do continuous row, the better. But this one here, shorter rest, um, I think it's better for us as a group to train, talk, rest, get it right, etc. Okay? Um, great workout. Thanks, bro. Full sweat over here. Yeah, look. Your buttles down here. Uh, my first Sunday workout, great workout. Thanks, GSTPD. Doug, really good. Thank you. Edward, thank you. Um, that was a great release. Good on you, Chris. Uh, fifth piece was definitely catching up on me. Staying relaxed, not tension up, most important. Yeah, that is the way because we just started climbing towards the finish, um, which is generally how it is generally how we do it. Uh, Chris, any weight exercises you recommend for stronger leg drive or just more rain? Uh, I, I feel like, Chris, in terms of weight training, to be fair, um, a lot of things like cleans, if you do, if you do free weights, um, cleans, deadlifting, um, uh, if you can, like clean and jerk, <laughs> um, but then just like leg press, seated row, okay, in two forms, you know, so you could do a seated row by, by just using the back a bit more and getting that core engagement. And then obviously the seated row, drawing it right through. Um, geez, there's a lot that you could do. Um, you don't need to be doing bench press, obviously, or bicep curls, none of that crap. Um, but, but to be fair, as I've said many a times, the clean from here, standing up like that, is this motion vertically. Okay, and so if you want to build that whole sort of deadlifting motion is, is, is using the legs, but the legs are driving your body open, right? Same as what we're trying to do on here. So those are probably the best exercises you could try and do because we're trying to, end, that's all we're trying to do. We're trying to get that push. We're trying to get that push and body open here. Okay, which is the same motion as that to there. Okay, and we get that good. Those are probably the main sort of ones you'd want to try and do. Um, with obvious, I'm not, a, I'm not a strength and conditioning trainer, but you obviously got to balance the muscles on the other side. So you probably have to be doing some hammy stuff, you know, maybe some uh, leg curl things, whatever, um, just to make sure that like one side of the body is not like super out of balance in the other. Uh, Awesome, love it. Thanks, Michael. First Sunday session live stream for me. Thanks, Robert. Yeah, come on back, pal. There's a lot of, you got a lot of catching up to do too. It's got a few sessions on there. Um, 
<laughs> and we'll have plenty more to come too. Okay, so keep it up, team. Squats, deadlifts are good for me. Yeah, that, yeah, those, those are the ones you want to work on. Okay, great work, team. Okay, remember, keep working on that rhythm. Keep working on that flow into the front. And just remember, you're trying to pick up that flywheel smoothly. Okay, we're not trying to go in and then really rip it out of the front. We're trying to get that motion of coming in and then picking the speed and then sending it through. Okay, I, I would recommend everyone just every now and again, when you've got your machine set and you're doing a row, whatever you're doing for a period of it, press that second button down on the right and you'll see the force curve. Okay, use it. Just use it as a snapshot, okay? Don't need to use it religiously because I, I don't think it's probably wise to use it religiously just because it moves around too much. But what you start to get an understanding of is when you're taking the drive, the force curve's way the hell down the bottom and then it's got to climb up to get to your maximum force, okay? And then when you start and you get an understanding that, oh, hey, that's when the legs and the body are moving together, boom, okay. So we don't have to punch it off the front. We don't have to use a shit ton of energy from the catch. We want to pick the speed and we want to be making sure that through the middle is when we've got all that energy in behind the, the oar or the handle. Okay. And so just there's a few little things like that on the machine that you can just start to use and get an understanding about how you're doing it. If it spikes really early, we're probably getting a little bit too much with the back straight away. Okay. If we have an extra movement at the finish, Maybe we're like really trying to give the back a second go at it. Okay, so just use that as an example, as a snapshot into how it's looking for you currently. Okay, and then just keep trying to smooth it out. Remembering that the idea is that we get the flywheel spinning. We just keep tapping over top of it, tapping it, tapping it, tapping it until we run out of speed, until we run out of gas. Okay, that's the idea. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Keep it smooth, keep it relaxed. Really use these levers. Use our long arms, use our back muscles, our legs to really get that swing through the middle. Really sit back through the stroke, okay? Sit right back into it, okay? And that's really where we're gonna find our speed because we're all individual in size, shape, age, sex, gender, whatever. Okay, but we as we've got to find out what works for us as individuals. But the common thing is that we have to get the flywheel spinning, and then we just want to eliminate that fade of the flywheel. So we just want to get that body moving through the middle of the stroke. We'll hold speed. Boom. Okay, we've got a good setup, and we can just keep moving it from there. Okay, sweet. Okay, team. Uh, thanks again. Only one machine here. My wife uh, does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks, Michael. Um, Right, thanks guys. Um, till next week, keep it up, keep training. Um, thanks for me and the Sensei team, and stay safe, enjoy yourselves. Uh, yeah, and we will see you guys here bright nah, later time next week, okay? And I think I might throw some punchy stuff in next week, okay? So we might do some, some sprinting bits and pieces, which could really uh, test the resolve, okay? Right, chess team, I better go get a mop. Start cleaning up my mess. Look at that. Disgusting. Right, thanks team. See you later.